The Story of the Osaka Beheim Imperial College. When Japan was still in the feudal period, Himeji Castle was rumored to have children hiding in it. That monster is what they call Osaka Beheim. People talk about Osaka Beheim as a monster who became a star due to living too long. But some people also say that she was originally an old kitsune that haunted this castle. There are other places where it is said that Osaka Beheim is actually the little goddess protecting Himeji, named Osaka Bagami. But after Tayatomi Hideyoshi expanded her stronghold and destroyed her temple, she became angry and attacked her. Gave Lord Akeda Terumasa an illness so terrible that he had to rebuild her temple. Whether these two people are one or two, it is difficult to say clearly. Sometimes she is a snake. Sometimes she is the ghost of a concubine of Emperor Fushimi. No one really knows who she really is. Osaka Beheim is a middle-aged beauty, about 30 years old, often wearing a splendid Junihito outfit. She often walks around in secret areas of the castle, rarely appearing in front of people whether alive or not. When you become a demon. Because of that, there are false rumors that anyone who sees her face dies unexpectedly. That rumor led to other rumors about her possessing a strange source of power, allowing her to manipulate others like puppets in her hands. Maybe it's a bit true, because Osaka Beheim is an intelligent yukai. Her intelligence gave her the ability to control countless Kenzakushin messengers of the gods, and also allowed her to see into people's hearts and take advantage of their evil desires to threaten them. Osaka Beheim also has a younger sister. She is also a castle demon, named Kame Heim in Inuashiro Castle in Mutsu. In fact, Osaka Beheim is afraid of humans. She hid in the castle, only once leaving her hiding place to meet the Lord to inform him about the fate of this castle. In the Edo period, when rumors of her spread in every shop and corner of the city, a young man who was serving a noble family in the area tried to boldly break into Himeji at night to meet her. Her. His name is Morito Zusho. That night, Zusho held a dim paper lantern in his hand, climbed to the highest peak of the castle and through the paper-covered sliding door, he saw the dim flames flying back and forth inside. Zusho almost stiffened when he heard the sound of the skirt rustling on the floor and the woman's elegant voice asking, Who is there? And suddenly, the door was opened. He saw in front of him a beautiful woman about thirty, wearing a precious Junihito like a princess. Before her, Zusho explained his reason for coming here. After hearing that, Osaka Beheim laughed out loud, gave him an iron helmet and told him, Bring it back, this is proof that you have seen me, brave boy. That helmet was part of a set of armor passed down from Zusho's owner's family. Returning, he told the whole story of how he met Osaka Beheim. No one in the family believed him and even laughed at him. Only when Zusho took out the family's lost hat did the owner reluctantly admit that he had seen Osaka Beheim and returned safely, instead of being tragically killed as rumored. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.